G'day, uh, it's John from Rimfire Hives. Um, I've had pe many people ask me uh, over the last couple of years about if they have a hive that gets infested with um, syrophid and, and forward fly, you know, what they can do. And anyway, I, I had a hive at a mate's place and it's been infested. Uh, I went and picked it up today. So I'll just show you. Uh, so we're budding an infested hive to a strong hive. Okay. So, uh, okay, this is, and this is what it looks like. Uh, and it's very upsetting when you lose a hive like this. So I'll just pop this lid off. And you can see the maggots in there. These bees, when I opened it up this morning, there was only one bee in there. Uh, and that, that's a, I think that's a forward fly maggot there, but I pulled out some bigger maggots earlier. They were um, syrophid fly maggots. So there's a little maggot there. Mungle things. So, and you can see, this, this, I don't even know why this one failed. Look at the size of the brood area was. So it obviously just didn't requeen or something. I don't, well, I don't even know. I don't even see these eggs here. They haven't even hatched. So I don't know why a hive fails. Good morning, uh, day two of the bud. So uh, you can see the bees are working in and out quite uh, vigorously. But I've been, I'd have to say I've been very surprised that um, normally within the first three or four hours, they'll come out and just start dropping maggots at the entrance. And thus far, I haven't seen any of them carrying maggots out, which is quite strange. But anyway, we'll open up and um, have a look what's going on inside. See quite a few bees in there, and you see, see this maggot here. See this maggot here. There's some really big ones, which the bees would probably have trouble carrying out. So, for the first time ever, I've never done this before. But I'm pulling that those big fellows out. Look at the mongrel. Give him a bit of a squeeze. There's another one here. So I think the bees actually have trouble getting rid of those big fellows. And you can see inside the hive there, see how everything's gone like sticky and yucky. Look at all this propolis, it's soft and it has a very sour smell. Yeah, you can always tell when it's been infested because uh, it has that smell that you just, it's just unbelievable. There's another maggot there. So I, uh, I end up putting some in a jar and let, letting them uh, pupate and, and hatch. And it turns out they were a syrupid fly. So there's a thing to learn, I suppose the first thing is when you have an infestation is to determine whether it's, you know, it could be a small hive beetle, forward fly, or syrophid fly. So if you've got the big maggots, uh, it's a syrophid fly, and I found that, that it's just too big a maggot for the bees to actually carry out and dump out. So I'd never done it before, but I started um, using tweezers and, um, and every day just lift the lid and just pull out the maggots and just dump them on the ground. Uh, these are actually a good acquisition. They're uh, for um, aquariums. They use them. Uh, it's a long, long nose, so you can get right down to the bottom of the box. And they're only about six bucks from aquarium supplies. Um, so yeah, every day, just lift the. So if it, if you do determine it is a syrophid fly, so a big maggot. So every day, just lift the lid out, and I was just pulling out, I don't know, twenty or thirty maggots a day, and just dumping them. And now the uh, we've. Just short of three months since I did the last film. And if you put the camera on top there, you can see that the bees have now fully recovered. They've got involucrum all around the uh, all around the hive area. Or around the brood area, sorry. And they've carted out all the, the rubbish, the infested rubbish. So the hive's on its way to recovering now. Uh, be another probably another six months and uh, I might Oh, I don't know. Actually, if I see a lot of brood can't pop up, I'll, I'll probably disconnect it, actually, if I see brood. But anyway, a lesson to be learned. When you have an infestation, check out what size the maggots are, what they look like, uh, so you can determine what sort of infestation it is first, and then deal with it accordingly. Okay, righto. See you later.